Harper's cuts to the arts, that's created a bit of havoc, particularly coming from Quebec. We'll talk about it after the break. Stay tuned. Hello again and welcome back to Viewpoints on the Line. Once again, for you watching, you're welcome to call in with any of your comments about any one of the subject matters that we're dealing with today. Now, we're going on to a second part, and it does relate to the elections. It's Take a look at it up on your screen. It's Stephen Harper. Here you, here you have it. The real artists don't need grants. That was, that was an opinion here by a writer in Toronto who basically said that when you look at the cuts that Harper is making, uh, out of bill $3 billion, there's something like $45 million that was taken away from it. Not a, just a drop in the bucket, according to this writer. And he's saying that if you look at history, if you happen to be a real artist, you can sell yourself. You don't need the government to be constantly funding you. But yet, that decision to cut the art still has sent out shockwaves within a given community, particularly in Quebec, where the arts are so important. I'd like to hear where the two of you stand on this one. I'm going to start with you on this one, John. Well, uh, you, you may know that I'm actually a bit of an artist myself. Of and, course you are, yes. And therefore, I, I live and work uh, much of the time in the artistic community. I know many, uh, many artists of many kinds, uh, particularly mu musical artists. Mm -hmm. um, and the problem on the ground uh, that I know of through discussion groups and, and through acquaintance with people and through my own experience is that the part of the money that has been withdrawn is the money that is used by artists to take their work to the world. That's a big part of the travel material, the travel money, so that, so that they can't take Toffle Music, for example, is, is a, a very large established organization in Toronto and they can no longer go on their tours and share Canadian culture, which, again, I believe to be a very powerful force for peace in the world. Speaking of Christian faith, I think we should be peacemakers. And uh, this is an example, but I know many people who are just performing artists, singer-songwriters, uh, mm -hmm. bands of many kinds and organizations, and uh, artists of other kinds too, graphic artists, you know. Uh, th this is where it has affected the artistic community so that they can no longer have that little, it doesn't take much a lot of times mm -hmm. to, to be able to get to a conference in, in New York or Nashville or LA and to present the Canadian wares. I mean, it's, a, it's an industry, it's a business for these people and like any other business or industry, I believe, should have as much support from our government as possible. Mm -hmm. Some people think businesses and all other organizations of all kinds should just be left on their own, laissez-faire, as Mr. Harper seems to believe, and let the economy run itself. But that's just not the way it works. Well, anyway, Harper, in, in all due respect to him, he is prepared. To. He is prepared, though, if necessary, to bail out the banks. So it's, it's not a complete invisible hand approach, to be fair. Mm -hmm. your, your thoughts on the cultural uh, two Two things. One, the f one factual. Um, the, I mean, I'm not a conservative, I'm not a liberal, I'm a I'm leader of, of my own uh, party, Freedom Party in Ontario. Uh, I'm not affiliated. But I'm looking at the facts here, and that they are that there was a change in the allocation of $45 million, not a cut. Mm -hmm. the, the money that was spent on various programs was shifted to other parts of, of the arts and culture budget. Mm -hmm. Why then, it's, and by it's about 1% of the budget has it's been 2 shifted. 2% they're, yeah. they're saying. 2% they're saying are just, part part just taken away. So right. is it really fanning the flames? What it's really doing is giving artists who are already leftists in Quebec primarily the opportunity to get the Bloc Québécois to win. Um, a study was recently done right here in, in Ontario that mm -hmm. said 1% of artists in Quebec identify as Canadian. Three quarters yeah. of them voted for secession in the secession reference. Mm -hmm. And they almost all support the Bloc Québécois. They want secession. Why? They want a Quebec with government-funded culture. They want to have, they want to be artists for the government in Quebec. Now, as far as I'm concerned, you cannot government fund art. As soon as you fund it, it ceases to be art. Imagine that the, the, the money used for my son's education and food and et cetera mm -hmm. is, is basically money taken from my pocket and given to artists. If you, if you made the David out of bones of slaves, out of, st out of stolen money, and you put it up, and you would say, not knowing it, you would say, oh, what a beautiful statue. If I told you what it was made of, you'd say it was an abomination. It was a testimony against the greatness of man. The, you have to look at the full context. And when art is made with money taken from people who didn't consent to give it, that's not art. That's evidence of a crime. If anything, mm -hmm. if, it's, if it's good art, if, it's, if it looks like good art, it's a fraud because it was not possible by means of voluntary consent, but only by theft. 
I think that this is a phony argument. It's been hyped up so that the bloc can win back support in Quebec, and it's a disgrace. Yes, if you can respond.